there is just uh, one more part that I own uh, in respect to uh, stuff that is just, uh, you know, I, I, I uh, sincerely, I hope that the world will get to understand the United States of America, basically how you operate uh, in, you know. Who you are, what the hell you're all about, you know? So that I under, that I explain, including the people in the United States of America, what the fuck America is about. Did you understand what country you're in? Obviously, you know that there's a public perception. Fuck yourself. Um, I'm just gonna that you're not gonna by any chance think that something really wrong with me or something like that. That that. Uh, Something, you know, mentioned in Central Intelligence Agency. But I, I owe to Central Intelligence Agency on one thing, basically, Federal Bureau investigation and all these people. As a thank you, basically, is a fucking knockout out of existence. That's what the fuck I owe you. That's the only thing the fuck I owe you. That's a thank you from me to you. Uh, in in this case here, right? Because the point here is that uh, I was compared to Harambe, the gorilla, as uh, somebody who is um, who liked the United States and so on. I don't even understand what the fuck these people exactly meant by this. That I liked the United States. I don't understand any of it. I don't even understand what the fuck like is, what is to like, or what what is that I liked about the United States. Uh, my life was obviously the purpose of my life. Uh, it obviously didn't. I didn't have any kind of purpose of my life. You know, you can see that Federal Bureau of investigations and Central Intelligence Agency have proven me, together with the British MI5 and the Royals and all these presidents who were involved in all this stuff that I didn't have any kind of purpose in my life. That I was just basically used and, uh, you know, sentenced to, to, to systematic death. Uh, basically, extermination procedure, you know, uh, wiped out it through forced unemployment and what finally became psychi open psychiatry in 2012. Uh, quite frankly, my life didn't make any fucking sense at any stage of my life, really. Uh, everything was just really, really a waste, thanks to these people. And so, uh, you know, when you don't have nothing in life, and you actually believe that you have something, that you have accomplished something, um, is, it doesn't get any worse when it comes to exploitation than MK Ultra. Uh, and then it all turns out like this, uh, that you are actually compared to, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, a gorilla in this case, it's not, it's not that I would be insulted about that. Um, I think there's more sincerity in a gorilla than in, you know, the people employed at Central Intelligence Agency, a Federal Bureau Investigation, or MI5, or, you know, their owners in London, American Congress, White House, so what? It's not going to make any difference in that matter. Uh, the difference that this stuff is going to make is going to make, the difference is going to make huge. It's going to make huge difference because it's going to be more and more people that are going to be ousted, they're going to be isolated, they're going to be, there's going to be a bloodshed that's coming. You, I'm sure, remember what Industrial Revolution did throughout the history. And uh, this is a totally, you know, Japanese had a big problem because of industrial world did not, uh, adjust themselves in timely manner to what other countries already at the time have begun to uh, industrialize. You know, it was an industrialization that took place. 
And uh, when they started to industrialize themselves, it was this battle between the samurais, the traditional way of life in Japan, and industrial part of Japan. And uh, it, it was really bad. If you look at that, a lot of uh, this samurais died. Very, very tragic stuff. Uh, and I'm going to say to you, you know, what is coming next in what became industrial world is much, much worse. It's a world of artificial intelligence. It's a world of, it's a robotized world. And the world is going to make change, whether you like it in whichever country you are, whether you like it or not. Uh, the difference between the times, between the traditional life and uh, industrialization, it was a much smaller difference than what we are entering the new age now. Uh, of artificial intelligence and robotized industry uh, is going to left hard to even tell how many people jobless uh, basically depending on government basically government basically taking us into a total I'm going to say totalitarianism the good thing about all this stuff is that there were certain elements now that are present that never were throughout the history of the world is as such as internet ability to communicate compare see learn educate yourself try the fact practical uh, compared to the theory and so on uh, when it comes to um, you know united states and west is so sensitive about the communism and of course also vice versa uh, comparing to capitalism, hell, whatever it is left out of the capitalism, whatever kind of capitalism is, in Western culture, Western part of the world, we do not have uh, uh, you know, free enterprise. We don't have any capitalism in Western part of the world. What we have in the Western part of the world is capitalism, uh, a free, really free enterprise for about maybe uh, who the hell knows? Maybe, maybe you're talking about, I don't know, you're maybe talking about maybe 5% of the population, they say 3% of the population. They, that's a capitalism. Capitalism is when you, you have disposable absolutely everything uh, and you do a free market, free stuff, whichever way, without any limits, without any limitations, when compared to the rest of the society, it's just in there for the rat race game, uh, paying off their uh, rent, lease, basically buying and sell food, you know, and providing for whatever is allowed to provide uh, accordingly to government instructions. Uh, or I should say, division, you know, of opportunities to the people, also private companies, and the smaller companies, and so on. Uh, it's actually kind of brutal. Uh, this is the, the way they enforce stuff. That's why I have a lot of people homeless and a lot of people in poverty. The thing is, it's going to get worse. It's going to be a lot of psychiatry. It's going to be stuff. Um, and so to me personally, when I consider all these things, um, just like it was the age of the internet uh, that arrived, just as it was, you know, with every, every with something that would change lives drastically, uh, I had to adjust myself to this crazy situation known as MK Ultra because there's no there's no guide in, in the books there's nothing there's no no instructions you get anywhere you don't get any kind of um, you know view on on something like this so bizarre that it can actually happen to you that's actually something that police would not even uh, meddle into and is in fact even enforcing that kind of stuff obviously this is not 
a discovery about something. Obviously, this is not something that somebody will complain about that he, you know, have fallen in some kind of criminal network or it was a state that this, in, you know, some country did randomly to him. But we're talking about the intergovernmental case here. And so it's it's a completely different it's a completely different uh, landscape of human rights courts and overall all kinds of agencies government agencies without capacity to act deliberately omitting and distracting process at international tribunals that were established for this purpose so that something like this would not take place. So it's a it's a totally new it's a totally new picture this whole thing the situation is like very different from uh, what I have tried to relate myself to some situation in the life of somebody or, or that kind of incident scandal whatever I couldn't I couldn't find any so. It's up to me to find and do my best, you know. And I'm a competitive guy, really. I don't like to lag behind like that. I like to take the lead in whatever the hell it is. So if the light pushed me to this degree, to this, um, to this extent, to this type of... outlaw if you like i don't know how how i would relate to this situation i figured out i better make a sense out of it you know everything in this world has its purpose there are kings there are queens princes and presidents prime ministers uh, and parliamentarians and police officers and firemen and you know you have the whole palette of the people workers in the factories and you have psychiatrists uh you have teachers you have all kinds of a wide spectrum of the people in this world and so i kind of figure out that uh, i am just gonna have to take my own place in this stuff because anyhow when you're outlaw nobody's gonna give you any kind of uh you know recognition and they're not going to admit you anywhere they're not going to give you any kind of uh you know and finally when you're an outlaw like myself outlaw in a sense that law outlawed itself in my case it's the law that outlawed itself uh law violated itself to create something like this um in that case then it better be worthy of my title so giving something like this to humanity so valuable that they the people the workers they can look upon when they go to uh, employment agency or they go to the court or they go to another country and they find us in this kind of situation so they can relate themselves to these issues who the fuck knows maybe uh even after you will be thrown in the psychiatric hospital in ever increasing growing field of psychiatric uh, <laughs> it's not really they call it a science whatever uh, profession uh, really it's a it's a, it's just a really profession of death basically it's just enforcing death of massive it's going to have to be more and more brutal more and more extreme, more and more. Uh, it's not going to be difficult, really, to accomplish something like this. And this is a stuff that's going to be saved for this. What is coming next is going to be this autocratic, like Donald Trump like, uh, fascist, uh, hateful uh, sphere of artificial intelligence, robotized industry where you're going to be fucking shaking at home like this uh no longer for the jobs but for the handouts and you will be going from door to door and you will be applying 
in my case, it's really funny because I, you know, when I entered the school, that school was extremely, extremely promising for mechanical engineering technician. For mechanic, maintenance mechanic, and mechanical engineering technician, you have a job anywhere in the world, really well paid. A good thing about, about my situation was that they wouldn't give me the job. They started, the first thing what they do is this, they start to outsource you by disallowing you to work in your profession. In Slovenia, they started to offer the jobs that were not related to my profession, and they started to enforce down my throat that I must take jobs to get any kind of un, uh, unemployment compensation uh, it's employment office, um, jobs that by the law you're not supposed to accept, you're not obligated to accept to receive the unemployment less than what you are educated or one degree less. Uh, but over the course of the time, they, they just, uh, the way the things went on, they, they were enforcing the job, they were just for the regular labor and stuff like this. It was just insane, and uh, the story started to circle in media more and more. There are physicians, doctors, engineers that take even the jobs as a technicians like myself, and uh, as a assembly line, as a as a workers without any education and stuff like this. So just so they can have the jobs and stuff like this. How much of that stuff? Uh, is real or not doesn't even matter because if you get the corpses that sign for that type of stuff you already are outsourced they can pretty much do with you you can imagine what the fuck is coming next whatever the hell they want so the times um, I was actually even told that this is going to happen uh, I was told go and and study more and, and more and so on and so forth well, I did some studying and so on but the thing is that um how can i say uh they would not they would not really cover not, not allow me even to uh yeah it's cool right. just making sure that soup is boring. basically to get jobs that i was well 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 qualified it was it just turned into something completely different it just basically turned into exactly what i was taught it's going to be the case already in slovenia and systematically started to enforce this throughout the U.S. Um, and the way they enforced this stuff was really, really not, uh, it was just not civilized, I'm going to say. So, you know, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, fuck your traditional thinking at Federal Bureau Investigation and Central Intelligence Agency. Uh, I'm not going to say that, that you found your match, uh, but I am saying that I hope I will make sense for the humanity to recognize you really for what you are. Um, I, was hoping during nightmares, Talking about MK Ultra now, when I was threatened all the time that you will be, don't even think about saying anything against CIA or FBI or British uh, MI5 and German, uh, you know. Don't even think, you know, if you say it's over with you and so on. Thing is that. Um, I didn't need to say anything. They continue to imply with their actions on basically what their real intentions were. I didn't have to say anything about it. So it's not that I would never thought about the things would come so far. Uh, it's just that I did not reserve any kind of opinion in respect to something I truly did not anticipate it would develop like this. But, you know, since it did develop like this, <clears throat> I'm not a shy guy. You know, I just take it, whatever comes my way, and I get it done.
and it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty, but you know, with God's help, uh, hopefully it will be done. And maybe the world is going to look different upon itself. Maybe the people from different countries, from the globally, as you look, the landscape, uh, will come to realize that, you know, that it's not the way to, uh, to cause each other harm. Uh, but, you know, a long time ago, it was this uh, Workers' National Party, I think it was. And I'm, I don't want to help make a big mistake here. I, I got to see that this is not something what they affiliate with the Nazism. It would be most closely what I meant right now would be a communist party. Okay. World, uh, that would be international. No, 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 no. I made a mistake. Workers, party left, right wing. Okay, that's that. International party. Uh, what would that be? Uh, Ford International. Okay, that's that's basically a communism. Uh, Workers World Party. Uh, I'm going to put it to you like this. They affiliated this with the communism. I see Lenin over there. Workers Party and that kind of stuff. Um, Workers Party. Uh, I don't know. I did not study this stuff about this these issues. International Communist Workers Party. But, you know, it was this Internationale, this... Um, uh, workers unite you know, worldwide. Uh, the thing about it is that um, uh, more than ever, if we are to survive in this world, because it's always the worker that makes fucking sense. What else the fuck makes sense in this world? Who makes fucking sense? The fucking corrupt police makes sense. The fucking psychiatrist makes sense that goes out there and kill people right with the courts and system. Um, they make no fucking sense to me. The one that makes sense is basically the one that builds cars, that builds, that takes care of everything that goes around, uh, works in the fields, that does the things, uh, that takes care of grandma, grandpa, Kids brings the kids, takes care of the kids. That's what makes uh, sense to me, basically. Uh, sure enough, I learned throughout my world interacting with this elite classes, with this, you know, luxurious, uh, simply, um, or if you like, in developed world, you know, people that have a high standard of living when compared to the third world, undeveloped world, that there is a certain degree of insensitivity present uh, that is just um, looking out there to cause problems. And it's the problem that it's an old problem is as old as this earth, basically. Um, it's kind of a, I feel like, kind of problem of the sickness. Uh, it's like one family would try to rule the world, or a few families would actually rule the world. And, you know, the first that get destroyed are the people from, I don't know, third world. Then it's the people that, uh, little closer when they expand more uh, and then it's the people from the countries that managed to conquer the space the Lebanese realm I'm gonna say that start to eat each other you know and finally this selected families you know are by themselves in this world or something like this it 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 does not I'm gonna say uh, apologize in my case this fucking elites that were involved in it and he does not apologize, they're fucking henchmen that did the job for them uh, in this world, as far as I'm concerned. 
that's why, you know, that's why nothing really personal, but from the point of view, from my trying to understand uh, what exactly have happened, where, how have we got so far with this? I'm not the only casualty. There is more people, there is more casualties. Uh, every day you see, where you, you walk through the city and you see them under the bridges, you see them in the forests, you see them in the psychiatric hospitals. Uh, I was in so many psychiatric hospitals. This was not the only hospital here in, in Ljubljana Poli, here in Slovenia. They locked me up in Belarus. They locked me up in Russia. They locked me up with American politicians laughing in my face, with the British laughing in my face and stuff. They had me in all kinds of psychiatric hospitals in Ukraine, in Poland, in Czech Republic, in Slovakia. Um, they had me in Britain a lot in psychiatric in an, also in prisons, or in prisons in Italy, and in uh, they had me in Japan, also in these prisons, and uh, Australia, and uh, you know I'm gonna say fuck you, fuck you, motherfuckers, fuck you, fuck you. Anything else you would like? Uh, I'm gonna ask you, is this like anything else you would like from me? You're pathetic. You're fucking sad. You're fucking misinterpreting the truth about this world completely. Taking it in a direction that does have nothing to do with reality. Through your mainstream media, through your news outlets, through your uh, lies, basically, on a daily basis. You brainwash people. You lie about. Please, let me know if there's like anything else that you want from me. You, you want anything else from me? I mean, I lost 52 years of life. I'm age 52. If it's like anything else I can do for you, I'd be more than fucking glad to do for you. I'd be thrilled to do more for you. If you need me more or whatever it is that you need me, please let, let me know if there's like anything else I can do. But here the question opens, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you do this stuff like this? Like I said, it's not even about you would compare me with the gorilla or something like this. And if you would, I would be insulted. Really, frankly, I wouldn't be. It wouldn't hurt me. It's more about like if, like, say, anything else I can do for you. I mean, is this it? Is this all you have? Is that's it? Yeah, you have anything else? You know. Uh, the story here is such that uh, the song about Harambe, uh, that is basically Elon Musk, that would visit this zoo, whatever the fuck this zoo is at. This is in Cincinnati. Well, I don't know how he ended up going to the Cincinnati, but he would. Uh, he became a zoo. Uh, he liked to visit the zoo. Here and there, he would go to the zoo. Uh, why the hell this is in Cincinnati? It's probably because it's far away from Elon Musk. And so he felt like more comfortable. It would be like more difficult to directly associate with one. Yeah, you know. Um, and so there you have it. A Cincinnati. Uh, the the song, just as I stated, this goes to year 2011, 2010, 2011. Uh, the rapper, he got he got like within two years, like in 2012, he got a, himself a rappers also 2012. Yeah, uh, he signed with some rappers, and they started to assist him. They also were involved in MK Ultra. You know, so fucking talented, I mean, and, uh, you know, and then there is this Harambe, uh, the animal that Elon Musk situation. decided is going to do something. So this, I'm just saying what exactly happened with this Harambe, with this gorilla, this beautiful gorilla here. Um, 
And, you know, they do some sweet talk here. You know, you have people that do some sweet talk, whatever, you know. This is a zoo director and so on. Well, you know, the, the story with this gorilla and with Elon Musk, because Elon Musk is like um, but just just shortly, what how it all ended with the gorilla. Gorilla was not shot, really. A gorilla really was not shot. Gorilla was rescued, let go to some location where they uh, it's like in abundance of food, where it's like uh, trees, like jungle. Uh, that is basically, I think it was back to Africa that that they also took me with with the Harambe and uh, this team of people that would go there and basically interrogate me. Just so you know, you now when I say interrogate me, I basically it's like. You get the fucking uh, mamutans, uh, you know, with the phones, you know, standing on a side and, and uh, you know, just, you know, barely not fucking jerking off on a fucking telephone you know, when you stand up over there and you're being interrogated by somebody and you have five people on the side, you know, with the cameras basically recording the whole fucking thing. If you do understand, in the case of Harambe, you know, that... Uh, we are trying to help you. Uh, we, the United States of America, you know, we, the people of the United States of America, because, you know, we like you, you know, because uh, we think that you are exceptional. Uh, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, we would do something like this for the person, you know, like you, you know, like you see, like we kind of, this is a haram that we, you know, letting go. And, you know, uh, so we would something do like this, you know, but we will we'll also fuck you up if you're going to basically, uh, it's called talk against us. In it actually means like, if you will tell the truth about who we motherfuckers are, we will kill you, basically. You have a choice to be like Harambe and you have a choice to be killed. But that's basically psychiatry that I blamed everything on Slovenia and Russian side and so on, Belgrade and so on. You know. It doesn't bother, it doesn't fucking bother them because they're right on the top of this pyramid, and the people that are on the top of the pyramid, or the social system, the social orders, like the one in the United States of America, it doesn't matter which way it goes. Whichever way the wind blows, it goes. It's all right, because they always are at the top. They will go and they will paddle with one side or and if it's going to be necessary, they're going to paddle with another side. That's why these people have no fucking spine, these motherfuckers. You know? They have no fucking spine. They have no fucking word. They have no balls, like somebody said in, in that movie, uh, I think, Scarface, uh, Al Pacino, or uh, whatever actor was that. Uh, the word is shit. The word is like, your fucking word is like word, no fucking ear is worth more than your fucking word. The water, you get more out of the water than out of your fucking American word. Citizen I became in 2000 for all the wrong reasons, you know, you understand me? Uh, the animal was left free. The thing is that... Uh, you're going to say, you choose not to be free, and I'm going to say, fuck you, basically. I'm going to say that I'm going to find my purpose in this life. Uh, it is really not about my going after and extort somebody or anybody through, uh, you know, what as Elon Musk is suggesting in his speech, also you can see in the page, through... Uh, Advertisement, it's like a fucking advertisement, you know. You know, this is just this is really about other issues. Uh, I, I don't, you know, you motherfucker, you're in my home, you're in my car, you're in my shoes, you're in my pants, you wear my shirt, you motherfucker. You understand? 
I'm not fucking advertising here, no, nothing, motherfucker. You're, you, you motherfuckers have stolen my life. And my life is not for grabs. You understand? That's what this shit is all about. This is what this is all about. And I'm covered by the laws. And I'm tr covered by the international treaties. And some South African white motherfucker racist neo-nazi shit is gonna come and fuck me up like you did with british from accomplishing my life in the u.s destroying absolutely everything literally through the dreams this united states is supposed to be about the dreams and you motherfuckers entered in dreams through the nightmare With assistance of those whom I have mentioned that should be guardians otherwise of the United States, Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau Investigation. I'm gonna fucking let you go. Get away with it. You understand? So these motherfuckers from the United States of America in Britain, this Afrikaner, white Afrikaner over there, uh, knew that. I would get this video because they, they delivered the fucking video on a desktop from the YouTube. They delivered the videos. They, they believe they're going to fucking pilot this whole fucking thing and, you know, steer in whichever direction they want to do it. Because it's a certain portion of the memory that, that is involved in it. And it's other portion of the memory, uh, God forbid, like in the case of the Harambe, I would not pull out and tell you the whole fucking thing about what exactly happened. The animal actually was not shot. So you had Elon Musk and you had Joe Biden and you have all these politicians already fucking celebrating, you know, with, as I suggested here, Uh, animal was killed, was placed to sleep. Uh, Elon Musk was visited and mentioned Zuccaria eventually had to pay with her life. Okay, listen. It wasn't a fucking gorilla that paid with life. Me giving a... Assuming that when you took me to the South Africa, and it was like really, really uh, uh, South Africa to Africa. When he took me to Africa, I not thought about what country that would be. Uh, but I don't know. Wherever this beautiful animals or whatever, uh, I do remember that this was just a forestry green area and hilly like this up there against the hill, I think. I think this is what it was. They had me when they were filming documentaries in Africa on God knows how many fucking missions. With anticipation, when they diagnosed me as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2012, then I'm gonna go to the internet and brag about how I traveled with, uh, I don't know, whom around the world, which would uh, really, really, really simply uh, worsen as the psychiatrist, right? Worsen his mental state, you know, health, mental health state. Uh, you know, a psychiatrist murder with the pants. In my case, it was not even pen, it was just pills, basically. That's, it. That's all it was. It had nothing to do with anything that it would it would concern my life really, and I had no chance to contest or respond or defend myself or whatever, say anything. I was told simply to keep my mouth shut, basically always. Uh, I I spoke about that stuff already. So you think you're my friends, huh? You think that you're my friends because you. In the United States of America, if somebody would go out there and investigate this case, and would investigators, police, journalists would come to a track and they would say, well, and finally, you know, it was Elon Musk that was uh, probably one of the initiators of 
freeing this animal uh, into a wild. Uh, it would rather, you know, it's kind of story that if you prove this to the person that would be investigating this, it would probably the person would be rather due to a circumstance of his suffer in the United States of America would probably be even impressed with a such criminal mindset uh, with the garbage that is running United States of America these days. He probably would say, oh, you know, so then Elon Musk may not be so fucking bad. You know what I mean? And then you're just one step away. Please help me kill this motherfucker from Slovenia. So it was anticipated from Federal Bureau investigation, from Central Intelligence Agency, what I actually even have written down, uh, that I would not recall the event that animal eventually, I was recorded next to this animal, how this animal was released. How we traveled, checked the terrain for this animal. Then finally, I don't know how many times they recorded themselves for this shit. It must have been, I believe, at least I'm going to say probably 10 to 15 trips to whatever location they released this gorilla finally uh, and repeating it, this death threats uh, involving also top politicians such as George Bush, Bill Clinton and so on on how I should view the things as to remain alive, of course. So, you know, me... Uh, being uh, also a gorilla monkey, if you like, of some kind, I can somehow not agree to your terms. And for that matter, you will excuse me. Uh, I will pursue my claim against you in every aspect, in every sense of my life. Best of my abilities, God help me, I will get you destroyed. As a country, as a nation, if you're not going to stop this fucking madness, this homegrown terrorist network that you have in the White House inside of the U.S. Congress, in the Hollywood, you know, the people that have professions, like, not like workers, not like people that do everything in this world, uh, yet they are so important that they are absolutely in every in every aspect that covers our lives, present, absolutely, omnius, everywhere, on every level, everywhere, right? So that's all I'm going to say to you. If you doubt, if you doubt it about this gorilla, this Harambe, and so on, and I'm not being nice, I'm not looking for any friends. I am just doing my job. I'm just getting the job done, basically what you, I'm not going to say neglected, but what you dare to enforce through the corruption, basically to take down absolutely everything that people, that humanity have fought for, to have these basic freedoms, liberties, the right to exist. You understand? I'm a strange kind of outlaw, strange kind of guerrilla. It makes me feel good about myself. Uh, this was just recorded a few days after the release. I don't even know when the hell I released that video, maybe two days ago. That's March 27. All right, I don't want to hear uh, basically how they wanted just to as the case with me, basically how they wanted to do with me, you know, what exactly they're comparing me with, like, what do you, how basically they see me, how the world wants to see me as, I'm not looking, looking at this, and I'm not looking for any favors, I'm not, I'm not asking anybody, you know, I got so many death threats from the politicians, from the European Union politicians, from the European Union Commission, like Ursula von der Leyen, your fucking number, 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 numbers of people. I got so many, you know. Listen, I'm just here to tell you that uh, when you were giving me those death threats, you know, this is like, 
Honestly, you flirted with the death. You were just looking in a mirror, and inside of the mirror, you threatened death with the death. Uh, never fucking threaten somebody like myself, because when the time will come, this person will get you killed. with the masses of the people that's going to deliver them to your fucking doors, to your front doors, inside of your fucking courts where you stink, sitting on fucking chairs deliberately so that other people cannot sit and do their job. So basically you stink the fucking rooms so the justice cannot get in. And I'm not going to see the justice, but you sit in the rooms for whom justice intended would be reserved Seats would be reserved for the people that serve the justice. You are a cluster fucks. You are obnoxious. You clog the system, the justice system, uh, the pipes of the justice, just by taking the fucking chairs that you have no fucking right to be inside of the U.S. Supreme Court, inside of the fucking White House, inside of the Congress, inside of the European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg, in Brussels, and so on. You collect absolutely every level of justice system throughout the European Union and the United States of America. And I am not here to bag you. I told you, you're wearing my fucking shoes. You're sitting inside of my car. You sleep inside of my beds. You sleep inside of my houses. You withdraw the money from my accounts. Think different. Be realistic about what the world is all about. Get an idea about me.